In Zig, we use allocators to allocate memory. Uh, but maybe we want to allocate memory and that memory needs to not be allocated on the heap. Do we have an option for that in Zig? And the answer is yes. Uh, we use a fixed buffer allocator in that case. So a fixed buffer allocator uh, uses a buffer of a fixed size. And since it has a fixed size, it doesn't have to go on the heap. It can go on the stack instead. So uh, here's how you use one in Zig. So I'm going to go ahead and start by creating a buffer. And we're going to give this a size. And the key thing here is that you want to make this big enough that it's going to have enough space for whatever you're allocating in it. I'm doing a thousand bytes here. Uh, that might be a little big for what we're doing, but if you don't have enough space, you'll run into um, allocator errors when trying to allocate memory. Now that we have our buffer, we need to pass that to a fixed buffer allocator. So I'm going to create a new variable called fixed buff alloc, pointing to standard heap fixed buff allocator. We'll call a init, and then we'll pass in a reference to our buffer. Now that we have that, uh, we need to get a handle on our allocator. So we'll say fixed buff alloc dot allocator. Now we can define a name. So something like try allocator dot alloc. Uh, my name is four letters long. So I'm going to allocate five bytes. Uh, that's one for each letter of my name plus one for a null terminator. We like to clean up after ourselves, so we'll free our name after uh, using it. So we'll use the defer keyword for that. And then to speed this up, I'm just going to copy this in. So we're setting BRAD and then a null terminator. And then finally, standard debug print. Uh, let's print using the string format here. Um, and then let's go over here and grab a uh, name. And with that in mind, we should be able to zig build run, and we can see that it prints out Brad, and it's not allocating anything on the heap. Huzzah!